to go as Frankie Williams checks with the captains and is about to stand in the middle and toss the ball up between Coomer and uh, Lovin and the ball in there and it's a little bit high. <laughs> Two seven footers there, he thought he was tossing it up. <laughs> All right, try it again. And in the air and hit it going up that time. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, the ball goes to Stevens for Barron County. Top of the circle gives it in the middle to Coomer. Coomer, a shot up by London and a three-point shot. And I can guarantee you they can shoot them. I start to say that will not be the only one tonight. No, and London is 34. He shot 101 three-pointers this season. He's hit 34, now 35. To Radcliffe, top of the circle, gets double team, gives it back to Dokes. Dokes drives it, gives it to London. I mean to Loving, top of the circle. And back to Bass, to Loving. Loving a three-pointer, bounces, no good. Rebound taken by Bandy. Stevens with it across the timeline. Radcliffe challenges him, passes on the inside to Bandy. Bandy gives it to London. London dribbles to the right wing, tries to get it out, and gives it to Arterburn. Arterburn gives it back to Stevens. Stevens sets it up again. A 1-4 offense pass on the left side to Arterburn. He gives it to Comer. Comer. We'll pass it to Stevens and to Bandy, to Comer, back out front to London, to Bandy. Looks inside, can't do it. Turn, spins, can't get a shot off. Three-point shot up, no good. Rebound thrown inbounds and recovered by Thomas. Nice job. Loving all the way down, lays it up good. <laughs> wow. That was fast. I'm telling you, he was down the floor in Barron County. He, was, he outran four of them. All right, Stevens at the top of the circle. Picks up his dribble, gives it to Arterburn, to Stevens. On the right side, it goes to Bandy, and he's called for the travel, and he did it. Got a dribble. Radcliffe to Taven and Taven back to Trey and Trey will walk it up across the timeline. Goes to the right side to Dokes. Dokes holding the ball, now takes a dribble, gets a screen from Bass, keeps dribbling, gives it to Bass. To Dokes, top of the circle. He'll drive right down the middle, lays it up, no good. Tip below no good. Stevens to London, to Stevens. Top of the circle, backs it out near the timeline. Radcliffe on him, gives it up to London. And back out front now to Arterburn. And a shot partially blocked, taken by Loving. Down the floor to Dokes, drives, lays it up, got this one. Nice block, nice pass down the floor. Wildcats up 43, we played three minutes. Stevens out front, goes to the right side and Go inside, and good defense by the Wildcats as Barron County threw it away. And Yutsi will check in, and Bass will come out. Roby checks in, and he'll give uh, Thomas a rest. Radcliffe will bring it up the floor now after the subs are checked in. Drives right down the middle, stops, pulls a jumper up, got it. He faked that, that kid so far that the kid went four <laughs> steps down the floor. Six to three, Wildcats. Three point lead, their biggest. And jump shot up, good. Coomer with his first basket, and uh, he's their leading scorer, Radcliffe. Out to Dokes. Dokes. A little flop there, I believe. Yeah. Foul called on Dokes. Foul 
fooled the referee, didn't he? Yes, he did. All right, Steven, London, rather, into Stevens. Brings it across the line, drives to the right side, and shots up and a foul call on Utsi. Going to the free throw line will be Arterburn. Be shooting a couple. And there, got it. Tied at six. Arterburn can give Baron County the lead again. Throws it up, no good. Rebound by Radcliffe. Goes around everybody, down in the corner to Utsi, Utsi. Heads for the basket and threw it away. Not even Josiah Roby could <laughs> <laughs> jump high enough to get that one. And, and, you know, the sad part of that, it was a great idea. He had him wide open over there and just too strong a throw. Yep. It All right, Stevens across the timeline here. Picks up by, picked up by Radcliffe. On the left side, it goes to Coomer. Coomer averaging 15 a game. Backs it out. And gives it over to Stevens on the right wing. He drives down in the corner to Arterburn. Arterburn up to London. London out near the timeline. On the left side again to Arterburn. Inside, shots up, no good. Tip, tip no good, and out of bounds to Barron County. London stands out to pass it in, gets it in to Coomer. Coomer out to Stevens and back to London, back to Coomer, or Stevens, I'm sorry, back to, tries to get inside, ball stolen by Roby, Josiah brings it across, gives it to Lovin, drives, lays it up good. Left a couple of them standing again, didn't he? He did, and that was a great play, a defensive play by Josiah down here to get that steal. Wildcats up the two, eight to six, 248 left in the first quarter. Pass on the right side to London. Good job by Roby. Gives it to Stevens. Back out front now to London. He'll give it to Arterburn. And cross courts it over to London. Inside to go. And a jump shot up by Comer is good. Must be his spot. That's two from that spot. Well, he's averaging 15 along with eight rebounds. Game tied at eight with 2.17 left in the first quarter. Oh, what a pass. Oh, Up and good. A <coughs> pass was by Lovin. The basket was by Josiah Roby. Wildcats retake the lead, 10 to eight. Drives all the way down. Ball stolen by Dokes. On the side to Roby up and in. Roby with another basket and another assist by the Wildcats. 12 to eight to score. Wildcats up, their biggest lead at four. And it was kind of. going on. You got that right. Catch one in your ear. All right. It'll be Barron County to bring it across the line. Stevens with it. And then he backs out and gets double team. Underneath. Ball stolen by Utes. He tried to get it to Comer. And Dokes out to Roby. Josiah to Loving. Taven backs it out. Left side it goes to Radcliffe. He'll drive in, lays it up, and good. 14 to eight. Six point lead by the Wildcats. Stevens with it out front. And passes back over to London, back to Stevens. Tries to drive, gets cut out. Shot 
Up and no good. We got a below. fingertip on that. Wildcats on the run all the way down. Passes to you, so he lays it up and in. Another assist by Lovin. 16 to 8. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Wildcats with the lead. And on the right side now to London. They back him out. Gives him out front to Stevens. Stevens cross courts it to uh, miss that guy checking in, and that is uh, Key. Back to Stevens, down in the corner, and back out front to Key on the right side. Comer with a shot up, got it. Coomer, he calls him. <clears throat> 16 to 11, a five-point lead with 12 seconds left in the first quarter. To Radcliffe, seven seconds now. Five, four, Trey, three, Dokes. Two, one, shoot it. Inside to Levin, puts it up, no good. And he thought he got fouled, but uh, Barron County thought he got fouled. <laughs> so I guess that's all leaving. A five-point lead for the Wildcats at the end of the first. Moody in the game along with Raglan for the Wildcats and Roby takes the inbounds pass. You'd see and uh, and a foul called on Barron County. Bandit. First foul on Barron County. Moody in the backcourt to Roby. Roby brings it across to Utsi. They double team him, gives it to Moody, down to Thomas. Three pointer up, no good. Rebound by Bandy. Bandy to Stevens. And Stevens across the key. Good pressure by the Wildcats. Back to Stevens. Double team, back over to Key. Hands up, back over to Stevens. He fires a three pointer up and got it. Sixteen to fourteen, two-point lead for the Wildcats. Roby heads for the basket, gives it to Moody. Moody out to Utsi on the left side to Roby. Joe side turns, spins, lays it up, and taken by Raglan on the block. Back out to Moody. Moody to Roby. Roby over to Utsi. He'll fire three up. Got it. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> yeah. 19 to 14, Wildcats. I'm with Cody. That looked great. <laughs> <laughs> and down in the corner, corner, he drives, gets cut off, and threw it in the backcourt. It'll be over and back, and the Wildcats will bring it in. 6.35 left in the second quarter. Five-point lead for the Wildcats, which is their biggest. Moody into Roby, and Josiah will walk it across into the front court on the left side to Utsi to Thomas. Thomas back to Utsi. Dribbles, gives it to Raglan. He drives in, passes to Moody. Boy, they're flopping like everything and foul called on D. Raglan. 
third team foul. <clears throat> and Stevens, it's double teamed in the backcourt, gives it over to London, down in the corner to Coomer. He passes it back out front to London, over to Stevens, and back in the corner to Comer. And a long three-pointer bounce is no good. And up into the stands it goes, and it'll go to Barron County. Ollie got that, uh, got that deflection. And the starters back in for Wildcats. They got the, the quarter break and then a couple of minutes into this quarter, so they've had about three minutes to rest. Thomas will uh, set out, and Moody stays in the ball game for the Wildcats to Comer to Stevens. Stevens drives, gives it to Coomer. Coomer tries to drive and gets the ball smacked out of his hands back to Stevens. He has to back it out and to Coomer and oh, <laughs> double dribble and no call. Good defense for the Wildcats right now. And out to London. Passes on the left side to Reed. Reed tries to dribble, gets it out to Steven on the right side to Bandy, and back out to Coomer. He tries to drive, gets cut off, and Bandy with it, cross courts it. There's a long three-pointer up, good by Reed. 19-17, lead at two. Loving drives, puts a shot up, and it's no good but a foul. Coomer's first and checking in number 40 is Smith. Moody will check out, and Bash checks back in for the Wildcats. And in deep to Bash. Bash to Dokes. Dokes back to Radcliffe. They set it up. Loving right at the top of the circle. Gives it to, oh, what a pass. Laura lays it up and in. Trey Radcliffe with his sixth point off an assist by Loving. Loving may end up with more assists tonight than he has points. I know it. 21-17. Wildcats with the lead. And ball stolen, re-stolen back to Loving. And a what? Call the foul on Loving. And Coomer checks back into the game. Arterburn stands out to pass it in. And into Coomer. Coomer drives, gets cut off, back out front now to Stevens. Radcliffe on him. Stevens back to Coomer. Coomer puts the shot up, off no good, rebound by Dokes, giving it to Loving. Turns, drives, puts it up. And the foul call, and I believe that's on Coomer. Yeah, that'll be, mistaken, his second that'll be his second. Well, he's found out one thing. He can't guard Tavian Loving <laughs> if he finds nothing else out tonight. Two free throws coming to Tavian. I should say, what are we waiting on? We're uh, waiting ball, on the official. <laughs> I think ball was, had something on it. Taven to the line, puts it up, bounced out. And Coomer will check out, and London checks in for him. And Lovin gets the second free throw. He's got five points. 22-17. And uh, it will be Arterburn to bring it across the timeline. 
Josiah Roby back into the lineup for the Wildcats after Stevens. Stevens on the right side trying to key back out to Stevens. Trey, good defense. And key with it and then back out to Arterburn. Arterburn holds the ball, loving out on him. Give it back to Stevens. Still way behind the three line, drives in. Gives it in the corner, jumper up, no good. Tip, no good. Ball taken away, beloved. Drives, turns, spins, drives it up. It's good and a foul. And a blocking foul. I don't know what he thought. He moved right into him. <laughs> yeah, D just told him, you got to get more space. And... Uh, That's that's sort of one of those 50-50 calls that Coach Clark was talking about. Well, right. ball high in the air on the miss. Late to it, Taven with it. Shot up, no good. Rebound goes to Arterburn. He gives it to Stevens, and he'll bring it across the line. And a charging foul called on. I believe that's Arterburn. Hey, y'all got to keep the defense up. Y'all got to keep playing defense. Arterburn's first foul. You'd see back in uh, along with uh, Thomas. That's, I'm telling you, those are some awful good minutes we're seeing out of all of them. That's exactly right. Dokes passes it to Radcliffe, and he'll bring it across the line. 248 left in the first quarter. Wildcats with a seven point lead, or in the first half, I mean. Biggest lead. Shot to or pass to Utsi. And up the floor with it is Arterburn. Goes in, throws one up, good and a foul. Utsi with the foul. Arterburn with three points. And in the air and got that one. 24-20, Wildcats with the lead and two and a half minutes left in the first half. Radcliffe across the line to Roby. Down in the corner to Dokes into Radcliffe. Cross courts it to Thomas down in the corner to Roby. Roby back to Dokes. Dokes drives, gives it to Radcliffe down in the corner. Thomas with a three, no good. Rebound taken by London. Down the floor they come. Key with it. Drives, loses it. Knocked loose from the back. Down the floor to Radcliffe and off of the back. Of, <laughs> nice save as uh, Radcliffe slammed it off of the back of a Barron County player. Bandy, I think. And so the Wildcats get it on the baseline, minute 54 left in the first half. In deep to Radcliffe. Down in the corner to Dokes. Into late. Taven turns, spins, puts it up. No good, but a foul. And that foul's on Reed. Taven gets the first free throw back for the second one. <laughs> this The young man, Reed, had the funniest look on his face. It's like, I ought to get to foul him a little bit or something. I mean, come on. <laughs> second free throw is good. 26-20 lead for the Wildcats as London gets it to Arterburn. And Wildcats with some pressure down in the corner to Key. Good hustle back. Yep. Good job. Stevens with it out front, tries to drive, gives it out to Otterburn. And they pass it across to Stevens, back to Otterburn. A long three pointer up, got it. <laughs> 26 23, three point lead for the Wildcats. A minute 18 left in the first half. To Thomas, back to Roby, to Lovin, Dokes. Looks at the three, doesn't take it. Give it up to Radcliffe. 
Radcliffe drives, gives it back out. And a charge and foul called on Trey. Good Beat call. His first. Yeah, it was. Got to stay under control is what yep. the coach said. It's Stevens. Drives all the way down. Ball slapped loose from back by Radcliffe. Dri dribbles behind his back. Passes underneath. Shot. Oh, no. 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 That, that is not right. That's not right. He moved, he moved under him. Yeah. That's a bad call. Mm. All right, 48 seconds left in the first half. Wildcats up by three, and Stevens with it. Gives it to Arterman back out front. Now Stevens with it again. And to Key, top of the circle, and Bandy. Bandy to Stevens, almost threw it away, but backs it out near the timeline. 30 seconds left in the first half. Stevens on the right side in the corner with it. Ragland out on him. Draws a count. Gives it to London. Back to Stevens. 15 seconds left. And Ragland backs off of him a little bit. And ball knocked loose. And it goes to the Wildcats with six seconds left. And Taven with it. Will bring it across the line. Drives top of the circle. Three-pointer up. Got it! As the horn goes off, a three by Taven Lovin. And the Wildcats go up 29. Change, they got a 24 on the roster. But I guess he ain't playing today. He, All right, inbounds. He may have been dressed the first half and not the second half. <laughs> lock up. Trade, lock up. All right, Stevens with it. Ball stolen and down the floor and throw it away. <laughs> down in the corner and ball smacked out of bounds by Bass. <laughs> All right. Out of bounds is uh, London. Gives it up to Stevens. Stevens with it. Backs it out near the timeline. On the right side to Comer. Turn, spins, can't get a shot off. On the left side, Stevens now dribbles the top of the circle. And Comer backs it out. Taven on him. And loses the ball out of bounds. But they say it was off of uh, Taven. Yeah. All right, Coomer to pass it in. Ball stolen by Bass. Gives it to Lovin. Taven drives down the middle. Passes in the corner to Dokes. Back out. Three shot up. No good. Rebound. Oh, it's over the back. Yeah, it sure was. Homer over the back of Bass, but we didn't get that call. Stevens out near the timeline. Passes on the left side to Arterburn. Arterburn on the right side now. Stevens with it. Arterburn to London. Shots up and good. Who was that one by? Uh, set 12. 12. Come on. Okay. Radcliffe with it. Right side to Thomas and to Lovin. Looks inside. Drives, puts a shot up, bounces, no good, tip, no good, rebound. Taken by Barron County. Stevens across the timeline. Still dribbling with it. Goes to the left side and gives it to London. London. Back out to Arterburn, turn, spin, shots up, good. Bandy with uh, the basket, his first basket. And pretty, leads it two. Pretty nice move, too. Yep. Radcliffe out front. 
Right side to Lovin. And to Thomas, top of the circle. To Radcliffe. To Lovin, right inside the three line. Gives it up to Dokes. Dokes with a nice fake. Thomas with a three up, no good. Rebound by Lovin. Turn, spins, puts a shot up, no good. Tip, no good. Got it, put it back up, and rolled it in, finally. Three rebounds. 31-27 Wildcats. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Stevens with it. Dribbles. Tries to go in. Shots up. No good. Rebound by Radcliffe. Radcliffe still dribbling. Heads for the basket. Stops. Pulls it back out. Gives it to Thomas. Thomas out front to Dokes. Dokes to Bass. Bass to Lovin. Fires up a three-pointer. Got it. 30 and seconds. a timeout. Wildcats up by seven. 34-27. Be a 30-second timeout. And uh, Taven just decided to. and Thomas, Dokes, Lovin, and Radcliffe for the Wildcats right now. And Barron County brings it in. Arterburn with it will bring it across the timeline. Thomas on him. Ball stolen by Dokes on the run. Pulls it back out and Taven with it, top of the circle. Backs it out near the timeline, waits for everybody to get set. And to Lovin up, shot ah. no good. That would have been nice if it had worked. Oh, Pass man. was a little bit long. And the rebound to Arterburn out front now. Gives it to London. London to Stevens. A long, long three-pointer up, no good. Rebound by Lovin. On the run. Grabs that's a, a hold of it. That's an, that's an intentional foul. Arterburn with his second. I don't know why that could not be an intentional foul. And he was he was going to the basket and they grabbed him to keep him from scoring. It would have been a pretty good form tackle is what it would have been. Uh, yeah, all right, Levin with it. Right side to Utsi. Looks at the three, doesn't take it. Call for the travel. Turnover by the Wildcats. Thirty-four twenty-seven. Wildcats with the lead and three twenty left. And the third quarter. Stevens with it. Radcliffe. Out on him. Arterburn with it. Still dribbling. Back out to Stevens near the timeline. Passes on the left side. They go inside to Comer, turn, spin, shots up, and rolls good. 34 29, 254 left in the third quarter. And Radcliffe with the shot up. No good, the rebound by Thomas up and in. That was a nice rebound. His first points. 36-29, lead back to seven. Stevens with it to Arterburn. And knocked out of bounds. 
Roby in, Thomas out. I like to watch that kid play, uh, too. That, yeah. Dakota, I'm talking about. Yeah. And double team and almost got it. Key into the game, took the pass to London. London gets a double team. And a foul. Dokes picks up his second foul. Couldn't see what was going on. I couldn't see it either. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we got it. All right. Stevens out to pass it in. And having trouble getting it in, but finally into Smith. And over to London. London to Stevens. Stevens drives, gets cut off, passes it out to Key. Looked at the three, but didn't take it. Now back out front to London. Love it on him. Stevens with it. Back to London. Left side to Key. Drives and. Foul called on Josiah Roby, his first. Stevens. <laughs> in London. And to Stevens. Stevens dribbles, goes down the middle and shots up, bounced it in. Didn't really do much defense that time, did no. you? No, that... 36-31, Wildcats with the lead to Dokes. And to Lovin, Taven. Looks for somebody. Ball knocked loose to Stevens. Wildcats not playing very well the last three or four minutes. Stevens goes inside to Smith. And ball slapped loose to Radcliffe all the way down. Drives, puts it up, no good. And ball stolen by Lovett. Foul called on Taven, I'll be his second. Yeah, that was more of a no call than it was anything, to yep. tell you the truth. Stevens with it in the backcourt. Still a five-point lead for the Wildcats. On the right side, it goes to Key. And ball stolen by Utsi. Drives all the way down, lays it up. Foul called on Reed. And Roby comes in deep to UT. To Radcliffe. 37 seconds left in the third quarter, and Wildcats are going to back it out and wait for probably take a last shot here with a five point lead. Down to 21 seconds. Radcliffe still holding it. Down to 13 seconds. And the coach says go. Into Lovin, turns, spins, puts a shot up. No good, but a foul with four seconds left. Foul called on Comer. And Lovin to the free throw line. He's shooting a couple here. And netted that one. Raglan in and dokes out. For the last 4.6 seconds. And that free throw good also by Taven. Thomas in and Taven will get an extra couple of seconds rest here. Stay on them, guys. Don't 
Foul called on Utsi, his third. And having trouble getting it in. And throws it up. <laughs> wow. That was pretty close for yes, a hip was, shot. Yeah, wasn't just, it? yeah. Wildcats lead it 38 to 31 going into the fourth and final quarter. We'll be right back here listening to Wildcat Country. Somebody to throw it to to Stevens goes inside to Coomer, pass it back out to Stevens. Stevens dribbles top of the circle now to Otterburn on the left side to London. Baseline drive, shots up, rolls in good as Bandy gets his fourth point. 38 33. Radcliffe drives right down the middle, throws it up, no good. He didn't lay that one up. He just tossed it up. Seven minutes left in the game. 38-33, Wildcats with the lead. Stevens across the line to London, back out front to Audubon. They go inside, and Thomas with a foul. You know, the only thing about this, we're up by five. They've got the basketball. I don't like letting them hang around. Yeah. The way they can shoot threes. Good defense again down in the corner to Comer. He drives. and Foul, I believe. <clears throat> Raglan picks up his second. Trying to uh, <laughs> all right. Barron County to pass it in. Ball knocked, but Bandy puts a shot up left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, three point lead now for the Wildcats. I have to two three zone by Barron County. Down in the corner to Roby, back out to Raglan, to Radcliffe. Well, Wildcats are going to stand there with a three-point lead. To Raglan, back to Radcliffe. I don't know whether they've changed this rule or not, but used to the team that was behind had to force the action. Yeah. After a certain amount of time or get a technical foul. Three of them standing around Taven. Yep. Well, 
Barron County booing and Wildcat fans decide to challenge that a little bit. Roby switches place with Raglan. Well, officials are enjoying this. Yeah. Hope they, ho hope they don't go to sleep. <laughs> well, Wildcats up by three, 38-35. Clock's rolled all the way down to five. Coach D talking to one of the officials. Well, the thing about it is you know that they've got to come out eventually because they're behind. I mean, whether the rule changed or not, they're behind. they got to get points. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> Dokes, Dokes sitting down over there. And <laughs> well, clock at four minutes and 39 seconds now. No, no, that's right. I, I, even Thurman's run out of something to say, Coach. <laughs> you might know. Has the rule changed about the action, Coach? Do you know the rule about the action? Somebody has to force action. Has it changed? Huh? There's not one. Okay, so they changed. Okay. Well, maybe we can interview Coach D when he's walking over here. Under four minutes now. So now they move uh, Taven out near the timeline. And two players change places for Barron County. Three and a half minutes left in the game now. Wildcats up there. Well, there's one thing about it, we're going to get home sooner. What, uh, what has it been, two and a half minutes? Mm, yep. Clock still rolling right on. We're at uh, three minutes now left Warren in Cunningham. the game. Warren Cunningham keeps looking at the clock. All right, now then, they decided to come out of their zone defense. And Loving turns, goes for the basket, puts the shot up, no good, tip, no good, back to Dokes. Puts it up, no good, Loving with it up. Good and a foul! <laughs> foul called on Otterburn. And loving with the basket, and he'll go to the free throw line. So that strategy didn't work very well. Lead back to five for the Wildcats, and Taven puts it in there, and that's six. Just don't let him have a three, guys. Pressure defense now has almost lost it in the backcourt. Otterburn. <laughs> 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 I tell you what, he bounced that ball. He had to jump up to get it and turn, turn it over. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the game. Wildcats up 41-35. And Radcliffe will bring it across the timeline. Radcliffe. Playing a little come and go with him. They double team, stop in the middle to dope underneath. To, oh my Gosh. goodness, wow! Boy, did he get hammered. Dakota just got up and walked back to the free throw line. Called a foul on 24. Who is London? And Dakota at the free throw line for a couple here. I thought the foul was on 12. I, they caught it on 24, but I thought 12 was the one that committed it. First free throw is no good. 
Dakota back at the line. Eyes the basket, puts it up, good. 42-35, 2-14 left. Stevens across the timeline, backs it out now. And they go to Bandy, Bandy back out to Comer. He can't get a shot off down in the corner. Stevens with it. Gets passes back out front. Can't see a minute 53 left. Five's got the ball. Comer, that was good defense. <laughs> but the Wildcats, Stevens with it. Drives, puts the shot up, threw it up. Foul called on Dokes. Even the mamas up there asking what he did then. That All right, Stevens at the free throw line now. He has five points. Puts it up. Got it. Forty-two thirty-six. Minute forty-one left in the game. And in the air with it. Got it. 42-37, minute 40 left in the game. And Lovin. Shots up by Taven, put it up and in on the rebound. Looked like he got fouled by three different guys, I swear. He was yelling timeout at, at Jonathan. Forty-four thirty-seven. It'll be a full timeout. Minute twenty-two left. to pass it in. Wildcats with full court pressure on them with a minute 22 left. That's a push off. Stevens with it. And the double team <laughs> and back out front. It goes to London. Back to Stevens. That's all right. As long as he's dribbling, they can't shoot, can they? Good nope. defense. And they give it over to Coomer and he fires up a long three-pointer, no good rebound. Kick the ball out of bounds, goes to the Wildcats on the baseline. Good defense. Roby back in, bass out. And Taven, they try to double team him and that doesn't work, drives all the way down. All right, 47 seconds left in the game. Comer with it, drives all the way down, stops, puts the jumper up, no good, rebound, slapped around, and Radcliffe comes out with it. Dokes throws it back up and Bass. Oh, good guy, Bass, high in the air, man, I tell you. He was. And 33 seconds left, Wildcats with the basketball, 30-second timeout. 
Roby back in and Bounds, loving into <laughs> ball knocked loose. And foul called on Comer, his fourth. And uh, now they've been the bonus, so the Wildcats will put it in play. And Smith comes in, Comer checks out. Do any good now. He's got his fourth foul, but Wildcats have done a pretty good job on him, averaging 15 points. And a foul called on London. His third. And that is the one in the bonus for Taven. Seven point lead for the Wildcats with 28 seconds left as Taven goes to the free throw line. Got it. Back for the second one. 28 seconds left in the game. Loving bounces the ball, walks up to the line, puts it up. Got it. Got them both. All right, London trying to pass it in and throws it the length of the floor, and it is up and good. And the foul. Dokes picks up four. Laid back at seven. And Otterburn with the basket, and he'll go to the free throw line. I started to say only a second went off, but that's all it was because it was yep. the length of the floor pass, wasn't it? Free throws up and good. And Barron County takes the time out with 20 seconds, 27 seconds left. Shots. Yep. Roby says I can catch one of these. Ball into Lovin and fouled immediately by Bandy. Taven goes to free throw line. 4 1 in the bonus. And loving the line, no good. Rebound by Radcliffe. Bounced it off of. Well, I guess not. They said he stepped on it before he bounced it. Yeah, evidently. All right. Just a six-point lead for the Wildcats. 23 seconds left. A long three-pointer, no good. Rebound. And timeout called by Barron County. Shot hit the floor. And I couldn't see because everybody was between.
<laughs> Fifteen seconds left. Barron County has the basketball on the baseline. And Stevens to pass it in. And in the corner, a shot block. And out of bounds with 11 seconds left. Trey was looking for the ball, and it did <laughs> And another timeout by Barron County. I guess he figures he's got them. Might as well keep them. So can't have many left. Eleven seconds left in the game. He's got one. And you know what? If we Well, that'll call the foul on, uh, you know, as many times as jerseys have been held tonight, he waits until 11 seconds left to call one. And going to the free throw line is London. Shooting one and the bonus. Puts it up, got it. Forty-six, forty-one, a five-point lead for the Wildcats. And in there with it, and got them both. And and it comes to Dopes. That's got to be an intentional foul. I know they never call it that way, no. but to when you wrap your arms around a guy's neck, it ought to be an intentional foul. One second rolls off the clock, and Dokes goes to the free throw line. The one and the bonus. We'll go to the double bonus after this, and I'm pretty sure we'll have another foul before the 10 seconds rolls off. I would almost bet on it. Carlisso at the line, eyes the basket and puts it up. Got it. Back for the second one. Five point lead, 47 42. Only 10 seconds left. Up and got them both. Switched them both. Just don't foul them, guys. That's right. London with it. A wild shot. How could that now, be their ball? I said we blocked the shot, I guess. Three seconds left. And no good. And the ball game comes to close. Wildcats finally win it. 48 to 42. And we'll be back with a wrap-up if you're listening to Wildcats. 